everyone. My mom hack for today is something I have been wanting to do for a long, long time. I've been talking about it and thinking about it. Many of you probably already do this, um, and but I finally did it and it feels so good. And that is to put away half of my kids' toys and their books and all their stuff. Um, we have very limited um, space. Most of my kids' toys are in their bedrooms and then we have a very small, like, office slash toy room nook on our main floor and we have a bunch of toys there but really not a lot of space for toys and so um, what was happening is it was always just a big disaster as you guys know when you have kids and lots of toys they're just everywhere um, and also there were many toys that my kids enjoyed that were just at the bottom of their toy bucket and they never really saw it and so we, they didn't get to play with it um, because they'd forgotten about it um, so anyways we, I <laughs> made the choice, the kids weren't big fans of it, but we put away, um, I'd say about half, maybe not quite half, maybe a third of their toys. So I have, I believe four, yeah, we have too many toys, four um, big like Rubbermaid tubs um, down in the basement. Two of them are full of books. Yeah, we have that many books. Um, and two of them are full of toys. So I just went through and like, okay, we kept all the cars in the kids' toy bins. I put all the trains away. We kept um, like half of Charity's doll stuff and then half of the doll and baby gear away. Um, and then, you know, same with the baby toys. Kept half of them out, put half of them away. Everything, we just kind of went through and put away a good portion of their toys. Same with the books. We do have a lot of books and I love for my kids to read, but there are, their bookshelf upstairs was just stacked with books. And so there were books up there that they never really looked at because when it was time to pick a book off the shelf, there's so much to choose from and there'd be books that we just never read. So definitely half of the books did go away. It was at least half. Um, and so now we just have a small section but we're reading through them and there's stories up there that I, when did we get this? I don't even know, like it must have been one Christmas we got it from somewhere and we'd never even read the story. And so, because it was just up on the shelf and we didn't even notice it. So now that there's just half of our books up there, we have been reading through them and making sure to read through um, each of those books and the kids have found some new favorites by, through that. So anyways, it feels so good to have a smaller amount of toys out um, the kids are playing with toys that they'd forgotten about. Now, we did put the toys and books away, I want to say probably two months ago. It's, yeah, it's probably been a couple months now. It was just a little bit after Christmas. Um, and so now, I'm not sure at what point I'm going to switch them back over again. I know that's going to be a huge chore. <laughs> but my kids have just started asking for the trains. That's one of their favorites that they actually, before I put them away, they had not played with those trains in probably three or four months. It had been a while, but now they're asking for those trains again. So we're gonna, once we bring the tubs up, I'll take the trains out and put something else away instead. But um, I'm trying to decide how often I wanna switch over. So if you guys do this toy sorting, toy, um, what do you call this, putting away um, thing, then let me know down below how often you cycle the toys. Do you, like, I know some people will have like fall, spring, summer, what season did I miss? Winter. Um, toys, and they actually cycle like every season. Um, we've just done half the toys and we'll just totally switch over um, that way. But I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you did this, how often you switch toys out. Like, do you have three different like sections of toys? Like you switch over, I don't know if this makes any sense, but Anyways, let me know how you guys do it, because like I said, I've just started, and so I don't quite know how I'm going to do it, um, but it feels good to have less stuff out, and the kids are enjoying things that they had forgotten about, and I'm sure when I bring out the old toys again, they'll be like, wow, like it's Christmas, we're getting all new toys again, because there'll be stuff that they forgot about again. So. Anyways, that is my little tip. I'm sure you guys have many more tips if you've already been doing this. So again, let me know in the comments below your tips. And thank you for liking my video and watching my videos. And just thank you. Thank you so much for um, being part of my channel. I am so thankful for you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.